Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the temperature relations of heterotherms in detail. Heterotherms are the animals which are intermediate between pure ectotherms and endotherms. These animals do not generally regulate their body temperatures within a narrow range. They mostly depend on external heat source like ectotherms but are also capable of endothermic heat production due to their muscular activity. This feature is like endotherms. Such heterotherms include certain insects, certain reptiles and certain fishes. First we shall discuss the heterothermic insects which include some flying insects like locusts, beetles and arctic flies. They are strictly ectotherm when they are inactive. But they can raise and regulate their temperature of the thoracic parts that is thoracic muscles before flight. Without this warm up, the flight muscles contract slowly and produce insufficient power for flight. During flight, thoracic muscles keep on producing heat and maintain the temperature of these muscles at about 40 degrees centigrade. This level is ये तो एंडोथर्मिक लेवल ऑफ हीट प्रोडक्शन है और इस लेवल पर इंसेक्ट को इवन हीट डिसिपेटिंग मैकेनिज्म्स एम्प्लॉय करने पड़ते हैं टू प्रिवेंट ओवरहीटिंग थोरेसिक फ्लाइट मसल्स को मोस्ट एक्टिव मेटाबॉलिकली मोस्ट एक्टिव टिश्यू कंसीडर किया जाता है डे स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी शैल डिस्कस heterothermic reptiles which can produce muscle generated heat this example we get in brooding female Indian python which can elevate the temperature of your body by shivering thermogenesis this heat generation is increased with declining ambient temperature which is the temperature of the body which is the most heat produced this heat is used to provide warmth for the group of eggs which are being brooded. This actually heat produced heat brooding. Ke liye karti. Dear students, now we shall discuss heterothermic fishes. Kuch fishes, jaise ke tunas or mako sharks hain, they can raise the temperature of their core bodies above the ambient temperatures through intensive metabolic activity. They have specializations for generating and retaining heat in some parts. So they are regional heterotherms. For example, they can raise the temperature of their muscles, our brain, our eyes up to 10 degrees centigrade or more above the ambient temperatures. Dear student, these fishes have certain anatomical features which render them heterothermic. Number one, the deeper location of aerobic swimming muscles in the core body. Jo swimming muscles hai, inke action se heat generate hoti hai. Ye swimming muscles surface ke kareeb nahi hai, balke deeper hai, so that ke jo heat wo generate kare, usse store bhi kiya ja sake, wo foreign environment mein dissipate nahi hoti. Number two, they can retard the escape of heat through skin and gills by a counter current heat exchange system, reti mirabili. Ye bhi inke paas hota hai aur ye heat conservation ke liye use hota hai, jo ke inhe ek heterotherm ke taur par successfully, uh, successful banata hai. 